Welcome to Theme Parks and Attractions. Today I'm at Clarence Pier. I'm going to be getting on lots of rides today and showing you what's available here. So join me as we see what's at Clarence Pier for the 2023 season. for the 10 rides for £12 if you get here after 6 o'clock that's a really good deal there's lots of rides here so yeah 10 rides for £12 it's a good deal if you're looking for the height requirements for all of the rides here they are in Mad Mouse 1.2 Tornado 1.3 Tidal Wave 1.2 and the list goes on you've got your family rides just down here child's rides and then you've got the upside down house which is an upcharge attraction yeah they have an upside down house here which is just at the end of the pier Obviously that's an upcharge attraction if you want to go in there. It's not including in the restaurant. I've never tried one of those upside down houses before. Let me know in the comment section if you want me to go in there and try it. First ride of the day is going to be Mad Mouse. Well it has to be done here at the Park Signature Coaster. See you on the ride. Lovely day today, lovely sunshine. And yeah, let's see if this roller coaster is as mad as the name. Yeah, look at these views. Over there, you've got the Isle of Wight just over there. Yeah, the sun's going down now. Lovely weather, nice and warm. And yeah, you get great views just over there of the rest of the park as well. Next up is Tornado, the next ride. Looking forward to getting on that. Looking forward to this one, here we go. Woo. Oh, here we go. Air strike coming up. Woo. Yeah, lovely. Nice and smooth. The brakes on this are very uh, abrupt at the end. Here we go, second drop. Tornado, see you on the ride. Looking forward to this. And here we go then, straight in on Tornado. Yeah, just come up to speed, it took about a minute to get up to speed and here we go. Yeah, this ride packs a punch, great air time on this as well. And you get some fantastic views over the water as well. Yeah, I had a great ride on Crazy Mouth just then as well. Really enjoyed that coaster, not too rough as well. Just a sharp breaking at the end. Got to watch out on that double sharp break here. There we go, tornado. Yeah, as I said, lovely day today. Nice and warm. None of this rain that we've had lately. Obviously, summer's coming to an end now. Not long to go. Now, here we go, tornado speeding up. Moving on to the next ride now. Just got off Tornado then. Yeah, I had a really good ride on that. I enjoyed that. On to the next one. Time for the park spinning coaster then. Looking forward to this one. And here we go on Tidal Wave, the park spinning coaster. Yeah, I quite like these. They're quite fun. And for the size of them as well, they give a great little spin on them as well. Yeah, look at that. The sun's going down. Absolutely lovely today. It's got a bit windy now though. It's got a bit cold. But yeah, I'm still enjoying it. Great weather. Here we go on Tidal Wave. That too on Tidal Wave. Lovely little breeze. Really. Yeah, it spins quite a lot for a little family coaster. Oh, it's a free 
that special. Now here we go. Going up again. Yeah, as I said, the sun's going in on tidal wave. I'm enjoying the ride. It's a nice little breeze on here. Yeah, it's a nippy little coaster, this one. It's quite intense for the kids. And here we go, gonna get whipped around. Here we go. There we go, see what I mean? Quite forceful for a little family spinner. Just got off tidal wave then. Yeah, it's really good, really intense for a family coaster. Highly recommend it, I really enjoyed that. You get some great views over the Isle of Wight as well, looking out. Yeah, having a good night here so far at Clarence Pier. And here we go, there's Tornado. Yeah, that was really enjoyable as well. New for 2023 Tornado. I went on that when it was at Halion Island all those years ago, over 10 years ago that was at Halion Island. And yeah, it's still going strong there, Tornado. Anyway, let's get on another ride. There we go then, straight on the waltzers at Clarence Pier. Yeah, I really enjoy these waltzers, they're really good. Well, they used to be anyway, I haven't been on here in a couple of years, if I'm being honest. But yeah, this waltzer's been here a long time. Everybody loves a good waltzer. Got the tunes banging out. Yeah, as I said, £12 for 10 rides, you can't really go wrong for that. It's a really good deal. So come here after six if you want to get a great deal at Clarence Pier. There we go, get a bit of a spin now. Right in then on Twister, here we go. Rod's coming in thick and fast tonight. Yeah, and what I like about this Twister is it's on under one roof. Suitable for the bad weather. You get a lot of bad weather in the UK, so yeah, this is a really good idea from the park. I really like it. And it's got a fantastic lighting package on here as well. Love a bit of Twister. Yeah, it's got a really nice lighting package on here. It looks absolutely great, it really does. Nice. Job. Yeah, there's only about half hour left now to the park closing, so I'm going to see what I can get on for the rest of the night. They've got a lot of flu here, temperatures plummeting now. I might go on it, I'm not going to rule it out, you'll have to see at the end of the vlog whether I'll get on that long flu. If I do, I'm going to get too drenched. Just had a fantastic ride on Swiss there, yeah, I really like the lighting package on there, and I love the fact that it's indoor as well in case of the bad weather. If you're looking for a bite to eat at night, I'm going to show you what's available here to eat. I'll show you that right now. And starting off here then, you've got some corn dogs if you want a nice corn dog. And right by the arcade, you've got this nice little fish and chips store just over here as well. Who doesn't like a nice fish and chips? Now if you're looking for a burger around here, you've got browns around here. Various burgers, fries, milkshakes as well. Could show you the menu, yeah, there. Yeah, there we go, classic burger there, five pounds. And you've got fries there, skin on fries, three pound kicking chicken goo on fries. Yeah, I'm really starting to get my words mixed up now. I went on the waltzer and then I went on the twister and I'm getting a bit dizzy after that. And there's a nice place just over here that does paninis baguettes. That looks really nice in there. They also do stone baked pizzas as well. But that's not it, more food options on the way. Well, maybe not more food options. You've got Clubhouse here which serves coffees. This is really nice. This hasn't long been here either. Yeah, that looks really nice in there. And you've also got an ice cream place just there and another fish and chip place over there. And there's lots more around the other side, just around there, but I'm not going to show you my voice beer all night. So you don't want to hear about food options all night, you want to see the ride. So it's time to get on bounce. Looking forward to this, the lights are on, this looks great. And there we go, there's Tornado going up as well. Time for bounce. Here we go, bounce, bounce to the round. Lovely. Great lighting package on this bounce as well. Popping out the tunes on here as well. Love this song. Money talks. Money talks. Subscribe to theme parks and attractions. Oh, I can't see it all, can I? Nice and gentle now on bounce. Things come to a close. I'm having a great evening so far. Maybe not. Still bouncing around, here we go. Woo! Woo! Nice bit of air time on here. On bounce. Here we go. If you're looking for something else to do when visiting Clarence Pier, you've also got two arcades opposite each other. And not only that, just around here you've got Treasure Island Golf here. This is really good, really well themed in it. Standard golf in there. But yeah, it goes all the way around and it's nice and lit up at night. Yeah, it looks really good. 
They've also got a new indoor golf here for 2023. I'm not showing you that footage, unfortunately, because it's right over there. I want to get on some more rides, but they've got it here anyway. There we go. What a shame. The log flume is closed. So excited to get on this and get drenched at the end of the day. Yeah, there's about 10 minutes to go now to the rides close. There's a queue on the coaster. I want to get on the coaster, have one last ride on that. I've actually got four rides left on my wristband. I've actually got three, didn't take it for this one. But yeah, 10 minutes, what do you reckon? Should I get on another ride then get on the coaster? I'm not too sure. Maybe get on the dodgems. There's no really queue for the dodgems now. Yeah, the rides have been quite queued up today. I'm pretty surprised. I've literally run out of time on the wristband, which is very unlike me, that never happens. But yeah, I've had a good time here today. Let's see if I can get on another couple of rides or just a coaster. Here we go, go get my night ride in. Here we go then, here's my night ride. I had to get on it just in case I missed out. Yeah, I've definitely got value for money tonight. Park's filtering out now. But yeah, it looks great with all the lights on. Tornado still going over there strong. I'm going to see if I can get on that one last time in a minute. I'm not sure if there's going to be enough time. But I'm definitely going to try it. Why not? Here we go. Yeah, all lit up out here. You've got the ferries. You've got the Isle of Wight ferries just over there. You've got the spinning Katara in the distance. There we go. And here we go, first drop. Yeah, look at the ferry coming in out there. I need to get away abroad myself. I've got lots of information coming up soon, so keep track. There we go, a bit of a helix coming up here. Oh, the sharp brakes, they're coming up. I literally just missed out on Tornado, she just shut the ride. Disaster. Here we go, when one door shuts, another one opens. Look what I'm on at the end of the night. Nearly nine o'clock. Yeah, I'm gonna regret this. You get a massive wave going over on this. I'm gonna get absolutely drenched. The temperature's plummeted. I'm not looking forward to this, but I'm going on for you. Yeah, it's shut over there in the distance. I'll just try getting on it. Instead, I have to pay the price and go on this. Absolutely drenched as usual, my back's absolutely soaked. But then what was I expecting anyway? And there we go, the park is shut. All the rides are stopped. And that was my day at Crown's Fear. What was funny is, as I was the last person in there, they shut off the power and I had to push myself around on that log loop. Actually, the staff in there didn't realise that I was still on there. Yeah, I should have got it on the GoPro, but I was too busy pushing myself around and I didn't want to drop the GoPro in the cold water. As always, theme park and attractions, if you enjoyed this video, please give me a like and subscribe. It really does help the channel grow. And I'll see you in the next theme parks and attractions video. Where am I going to be? You'll have to find out. Price for Swamp Palmo, what a bargain. Get yourself down here.